All right, hey everyone. So yeah, let's uh, see what we can do with this arena deck. So my prediction before is eight wins. Um, could could go like six or seven. The range is probably six to nine. Kind of the most common range for this deck. And you have to excuse me if I start coughing because I'm pretty Valera ill at the moment. Watch your and uh, I have my mic set up so that it should kind of drain out the background noise, but I think it will pick up my coughs if I do that. Anyway, this is a bad hand, so easy decision so far. This is also a bad hand, but it's, it's, it's okay. I've got both the Kraken, so not opening hand, and Betrayal, which is like a... The pleasure is obviously not good for early game. The pleasure is mine. Well, I can't just do nothing, so it's fine to play this. Well played. Uh, Here we go. I guess it makes sense to actually attack this um, because they could bring out. Like, I don't know if it hits into the into the two three, it'll obviously die and trigger the death rattle, and then I'll need the weapon again to hit the two one. I guess this is worth, um... I think it's worth just doing it. Because he can so easily deal the one damage. And then it gives me a turn 5, like, Flesh Eating will Eviscerate. Or, or if you just trade, then Flesh Eating will Weapon and kill the 2-1 that comes out of this. Oh, that's cool. Mm. I'm just like kill both of these. He gets a 2 1. So, obviously, it doesn't fully clear. And he can clear with like Fan of Knives now. You can only kill one. They are round. Yeah, pretty sure we got this. We're, we're ahead on board even with our bad hand that we had. And we have all of the late game ready to play. They'll never know what they like. Um, I can trade and obviously I'll get the buff to my weapon. But I have no need for the buff right now. Um, I guess I could play these. Actually, it could be better instead of playing the Stormwind, which was my instinct, to play um, Cut Purse and Raid Leader and spawn a weapon. Because, um, first of all, if I play like one big minion, he could sap. And my. I mean, that would be a way for me to lose because there would be so much tempo for him if he saps this. Um, but then the other reason is, I mean, more minions is pretty decent on the board. He might struggle to deal with them. 
Like you can maybe kill one or two, but there's probably going to be something that survives. What lurks in the uh, and the other thing is, um, if the cut purse would have got off an attack and given me a coin, I could coin the Krakens, which would be pretty good. But it didn't work out. But it's okay, I mean, we still got the buffed weapon out of it, so... We've gotten some tempo. So now, at least if he, um... If he does sap this now... We'll lose tempo, but we still have the weapon to gain back tempo by killing one of his minions for free. Like, without spending any mana. For this my mother does love this face. <laughs> I freaking love that cut. It almost makes me laugh. So I mean, my health is dangerously low. When I kill this, obviously it's going to buff his weapon. Um. So many. Incredible. I don't think I will actually hit my face into this because I'm worried. If I take two, then he can do three. I'll be on in seven health. It's not that difficult for him, a rogue, to deal seven damage from hand. And since I'm going with the decision of not using the weapon to trade for minions, I may as well hit face with it because it's not like a deadly poison buffed weapon. And I still get the buff the next time I use hero power because of the spectral smith. And if he kills it, he's he, he's dead, right? And if he doesn't kill it, he's dead. Right. We'll probably play like uh, three games per video because um, having those kind of hour long videos is not so good. I like the little thing they've done in the update, um, in the bottom left. Watch your back. Looks pretty neat. But yeah, my, the noise you might be able to hear is that my mouse freezing. I've had this problem for a while and I finally decided to um, order a new gaming mouse. Not um, not as good as the one I've got now, but at least it's not going to freeze um, every couple of minutes. Up. Yeah, so I, I've ordered this this new gaming mouse. Right, they took a month to deliver it, and then they didn't even deliver it. They just sort of lied about it. Like they were saying that I should have it. This is company that I use. I had never received it. So there's a massive dispute going on. I mean, it only costs like £16, which is a decent amount of money, but I mean, you'd, Put this apple on your head. you'd think they wouldn't uh, purposely lie just to get £16. They'd ruin their reputation at the same time. Anyway, it got to the point where um, I didn't want to deal with that anymore, and I managed to get a refund um, and I've like ordered some mice from elsewhere but maybe in like a week I'll have a, a mice that actually works nice we got the charge I'll just go face with this trade this one
Try this! Doesn't really matter which way I do this. Handle it. Here we go. Works out the same whether I get the combo or not. You can just straight away kill this 2 2 minion, but my next few turns are going to be busy anyway. This is going to be 7, probably. I don't really want to attack this ahead of time. Because they could just like a buff it somehow with Abusive or Dark Iron Dwarf and then trade. And then I've taken 4 damage for no reason. Hillbot's a good card in this situation because I'm not really rushing him down. So if he heals for 8, it doesn't really matter. Not really sure I should actually play the Jouster just because of this Axe Flinger. Just have something for him to bump into and kill. Although no, if it wins the Joust, then he can't kill it on his own. And plus, yeah, it gets the buff from me. This guy. This guy's gonna die anyway though. Um, when the Shredder dies, it's most likely to spawn in a 3-2. So it makes sense to keep the 2 on weapon. Yeah, this is obviously going to kill him. Yeah. Yeah, so it did spawn a two health guy. Oh, it's gonna be painful. Your mother was a murder. It's all good though. Here we go. The value. I think we've survived long enough to most likely win this game now. We've got the tempo, we've got the value. We haven't really got the health. We got this. Let the pain speak to me. So really the only way he wins is a brawl. Like top deck and brawl somehow. So there's no point in, in playing anything else really. Alright, this uh this will be part one. I'm gonna cut it a bit short because um I've got a 1v1 challenge on Esports Hero for some money, so I'm gonna go play that. So I'll see you next time.